So in this short video, we'll look at how to add some other animations to our title, images, and text box. So first of all, we select the object, and then at the top, select animations. So for this one, I want it to have an entrance. Um, let's float it in. So select float. Okay. And then from here, I don't want it to, I don't have to click to start the animation. So I need making sure I've selected it, making sure you select your animations pane, go to the start and then select with previous. That means that when the slide plays, it will come up automatically. So after the title, I want both of these images to come in at the same time. There's a couple of ways you can do this, um, but I'll just do it the harder way. So that way you know it's the more basic way to do it. So I select this image first of all, and then for this one, um, I'm going to select fly in. Okay, so just select it like that. Now you can see when I did that, it actually flew in from the bottom. Okay, that was quite quick as well. So we want to change that so it comes in from the left. So make sure you've selected it, animations pane, go to effect options, then select from left. Okay. If you want to, you can also then change the duration of how long it plays for. So if you want it to come a little bit slower. So we're going to do the same again here. So it's fly in. This time we will also go from the left. So effect options from the left. And again, let's just make it the same speed as before. So that's fine. They've both got the exact same animation. That time is a little bit out. Now, we want this to come in after the title, so this one is going to come in after previous, and this one's going to come in with. So let's test that to see if it works. One, same time. So finally, we go to the, the text box here. Okay, so again, we want to animate that. So select it, animations pane. I think for this one, it's float in. And from this one, we'll also float in from the bottom. Oh, that floating from the top is fine. And then I think the speed is fine. And for that one, we want to come in after this. So that'll be after previous. So once, once you've finished all of that, make sure you save your work with an appropriate file name. And then click preview to test it. If your test reveals that it doesn't work, then go back and fix it. Thanks for watching.